stop start again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so first question is, can you tell me who you are and what you do? So, I'm David Richmond. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. I'm David Richmond and I do walks mostly, uh, walks in creative development. Yeah. And can you tell me how you create and tell stories for your walks, so really the meaning behind them really, the and behind, yeah. the visions that you have in mind when you do them? Yeah. So, my passion is, is creative development, my passion is people, supporting people to achieve their goals. Um, and the idea behind a walk is to help people um, create what I would call a more authentic creative development, which is, which is what occurs when we align who we are with other people and with the wider world. So, it's, uh, a walk is a really good way of kind of getting out of or every day getting stuck in a rut of who we think, how we think about ourselves or other people and opening ourselves up a bit more to the potential of connecting with who we are with others in the world, if that makes sense. And do you think, how powerful would you say walking is and talking to people? Do you think it gives people a space and a platform to really share ideas and or just thoughts really? Yeah, I think walking is a really powerful thing. I've, I've spent my life really supporting people and trying to find different ways that I can support people and work out what the best way is of supporting people. Um, and we get very stuck in, it's very easy to create a sense of dependency when we work with other people. We get stuck in kind of teacher-student relationships or um, really power-related relationships and that really creates but often a sense of dependency rather than a sense of freedom and creativity. So I think I kind of worked on it and thought about it for a long time. I think that walking is um, the most effective way I can help people to be themselves, which is really what development is about. And would you say that walking is just as powerful or even more powerful than, say, filmmaking or photography or a different art form? Um, I think it, I think I, I'm interested in really kind of like it. it's very elementary thing. Um, so it's not a real world, and we can put that into the world. So wherever we are, we all do. We all, we all, we all, just as we have relationships with other people in the world as well. So I think it's a useful part of that process, whether you're a filmmaker or any other art form. So it's kind of maybe a little bit earlier in the process, it's, it's something, because as I say, the core of development is, is being ourselves. And whoever we are, whatever kind of artist or whatever kind of person we are, um, walking is a real powerful way of connecting with who we are as a person. And how do you think people respond to your to your walks and when you walk with them do you think they they help them or do any other feelings do you think you yeah think i mean I, I i i get very very positive responses otherwise i wouldn't do it i suppose um i think again it's that thing i think it's it's very difficult to know how you can help other people or support other people uh, i think actually at the end of the day the best thing you can do for me i think or certainly the most authentic thing is just walk alongside people. You can't do things for people or to people. That doesn't make any sense. That creates more dependency than the capability. So a walk is a way of enabling people to be kind of at peace with who they are and connect with who they are. Um, so I, I get a very positive response from it because it just, I suppose it's just enabling us to do something we do all the time in a slightly more conscious way. Yeah, people seem to really respond well to it, which is great. And how would you say others can storytell through walks, or how can they do a similar thing to what you do? Well, as I say, the great thing is that everybody has some kind of walking practice. Um, so um, it absolutely is, is useful, can be used for storytelling. You, uh, I was thinking today, you know, that we constantly have to perceive all sorts of things. Just, you know, we're sitting here now, I can notice the sunshine through the trees and the, the wind blowing towards me and, and all sorts of things are happening. Are you bombarded with all these impressions? Um, and, but we actually notice a lot less of that. And that a lot, that's happening all the time. 
you notice much more, much less than we perceive. Um, so just being a bit more considered about that is, is a really useful thing. And each 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 walk has its own story. And it's about and each all of those walks are are built up of moments, and that's I think the core for me is that is us appreciating the moment of being alive, this moment right here, right now, as we make this film, or hopefully you watch this film. Uh, this is our moment that brings us together. So a walk is about, for me it's about, <coughs> excuse me, for me a walk is about connecting ourselves with those those moments that matter, that make us who we are, we, and understanding how we put those together to create our own narrative or story, um, which for an individual might be our understanding our identity as a person, for an organisation that might you know what's our organisational story, what are, who are we as a team, or, or, or who are we as a community. Um, and fundamentally it's also about connecting those three things up. And do you think, when you do the walks, do you think different people and the different routes that you take people on, do you think that has story behind it as well? Yeah, there's story everywhere, isn't there? It's um, just um, so I when I try and work with where people are at, and where they I start from where people are at. We're already in the middle of our stories. Yeah, it's not a kind of fresh start, so it's not they're not um, massively a facilitated process in that way. I work along with people and their own factors. Um, I hope I help people see a bit more directions to it, be a bit more considered. But yeah, I start where, from where people ask. People usually choose their own site for the walk. Um, so where we are here is, is very near this, this fantastic arts organisation that I've been walking with. So it's helping them access something that's on their doorstep rather than taking away somewhere amazing and doing something very different. It's a very natural, um, human and effective process. And is there any type of emotions and feelings that you try to create for your walk, for your walks, or is it just just talking to people really and just helping them? Um, well, I I I I think the fundamental for me is is an openness. So I I do uh, I think people wouldn't walk with days if they weren't open, but it is that's what I'm looking for really is 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 an openness, a sense for me of being in development is about being alive and understanding the richness of being alive. So um, a lot of the time we, for natural reasons, get very defensive and very closed. You know, even the other I am, and, um, and in our work, we talk to the ear about kind of having almost robot jobs. If I do that job, I should be done. And I guess we really like that. Life is about being developed, in development, it's about change, and so on. So what I hope for is an openness, and I the fundamental thing is for me about we do try and align. We try and bring into what we think of kind of creative alignment who we are, with how we relate to other people and the wider world. And how would you say the the industry that you're in, like the coaching and the walking industry, do you think how is it can you explain where it's been and how it's changing and do you think it will come a more bigger thing? Do you think more people will start doing it or yeah, it's a really good question. It's a cracking question because I'm not, not quite sure what the industry I'm in is. Uh, uh, I'm in the business of being alive, you know. Um, so I, I, if there's an industry, it's about development. We all are in development, actually. Um, so I'm really interested in that personal and unique stuff. Maybe it's the arts industry. I mean, there's massive, people are massively re understanding very fundamental things about what it means to be alive. And walking is great to see that more and more people doing it. Lots of different things, for lots of different reasons. But um, yeah, so I expect there to be more. But I think it is changing. I think a lot of things we take for granted um, is letting go. And the more people are open to something new, open to the possibility, open to question, open to other people, um, then the more exciting and vibrant life can be. And extending to that, do you think there will be? new forms of walks and I guess guides and just mentoring really um, possibly like new types of sports as well because walking is sort of classed as a sport so do you think there'll be like new types of all of that really? Yeah I, I think absolutely people there there are massively you know sporting walking I think there are all sorts of different kinds of walks that are going on um, and that's I, for 
for me, I'm not trying to impose my practice upon anybody. When I walk, I walk. I help. It's because we all walk. I, I, yeah, there is um, a robustness to what I do. There is a theory and a philosophy behind what I do, but it's a very basic philosophy that says about how important it is to be who we are. That's what it is. So I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to say you should do a walk in development of this. I, I think you should walk. I think you should be open. I think you should appreciate just how amazing it is to be alive right here, right now. Um, and the more open we are to each other, the more we can And the last question is, um, what does storytelling mean to you, really? Is there anything behind storytelling? Storytelling, or? yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because we've talked quite a lot on our work. Sometimes we get really stuck in a story, in a story track, and when we relate to each other, we tell lots of stories. Um, and it's important to un understand the stories that we tell about ourselves, we tell to ourselves and to others. Um, what I hope a little bit with our walks is well, maybe we break some of those down, they don't have to be constructed. We can be open to putting those stories together in, in new ways and in different ways without having to be perhaps too precious about what it has to look like and what the end result can be like. So, so yes, yeah, story is important. Um, and yeah, I think it's important to know what, what, what the stories are made of. Maybe they're, for me, they're made of moments. And, uh, that's a joy. And the last thing is, um, do you have anything that you wanted to add? Do you have any like projects or anything coming up that you wanted to add? Well, I want to, I, um, no, not particularly. Um, uh, uh, things coming up, I'm increasingly working with individuals and with groups um, to help them explore how we can be, be ourselves. And I suppose I suppose at the core, still for me, is this thing is, is, is how we can create a lasting change in our, a lasting positive change in our lives and communities. So walking is, I think, actually a deeply radical thing for me because it's allowing me to be who I want to be and it's supporting people to be who they want to be. It's the most radical thing you can do. And it's about if we can align that properly, then we can create something really that's sustainable and lasting and that's probably a longer term goal.